Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I had a couple of diamond painting tools that I would like to show you that I recently received. Um, first, I wanted to show you something that's not necessarily diamond painting specifically related, but I got it to put in my chair when I diamond paint. I know many of us have back issues and I know I myself can only sit so long in that chair before I start, uh, my lower back starts giving me problems. So I bought this off of AliExpress and I thought I would show it in case one of you guys would like to try it and also for you colorists who have back problems. And what it is, is it's a different type of a wedge pillow. What I like about this is this part is detachable, this extra padding, extra cushion, and there are three sets of buttons on each side, so you can take off this part and you can put it, you can position it where you need the most support. So right now I have it on the top button because I need support up a little bit higher, but I am gonna try it. It's kinda hard to do when it's at this angle. I'm gonna put it back on. I am gonna try it on each of the other two buttons too and see which position works best for me over there. On each side, there is also a little pocket. So if you want to put maybe some drill pins or your wax or something, you know, in here. So I tried it out over on my chair. It works really nice. It's nice and cushiony. There are zippers in, here's one, and then there's one in the back of this section. So each piece you can take off the um, outside the material and you can wash it so I like that too so yeah I thought it was pretty neat for um, a little under 10 bucks and uh, so I thought I would share that and yes I will give you the link to AliExpress in case you would want to purchase one if there's any pit here on here um, it will not come with that because they charge extra for that so all right Okay, next up is, now I had to put you way up there to show this big cushion, but I'm going to zoom you down to my desk now. <laughs> okay, a couple of diamond painting tools that I recently received. You may have heard about these on some of the other um, diamond painting channels. And what they have come out with, now these are only for round diamond paintings. I don't know how they could get one to work with a square um, and you'll see why in a moment um, are these they're called rulers and what they are meant to do is you line up these holes with the circles on your plastic canvas and you plastic canvas on your diamond painting canvas and what it does is as you place your drills it it straightens them out. So you are putting all your drills down perfectly straight. I got this one off of AliExpress and the first time I got it, it was totally demolished. It was all bent up. This part was completely ripped down. <laughs> so I waited another like three weeks for this little piece of thing, this little metal thing. Um, it's still not in the best condition, but it is much better than what it was. So, all right, so that's a small one. Now, I did see from Diamond Painting with Donnie, she got this off of Wish, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to try these too, because she pointed out something very interesting. If you look at these two um, rulers for again just round diamond painting they look pretty much identical you know they, they look the same however if you line these up where am I at line these up in the beginning they look the same but as you look down further and further you see that they start getting off and because one 
is spaced apart just a hair differently than the other. And I'm going to show you the different options of buying these rulers. And then I'm going to get out my round uh, diamond painting that I've done a couple diamond painting and chats with you guys on. And we're gonna look at the difference between these two. And then we're also gonna try out the small one. Now these on Wish are available in a number of different sizes. And I printed out something here for you to look at. So here are the different sizes that you can get with um, off of Wish with of, of these rulers. So I got the real long one, but you can see there are many different sizes. I also printed off so you could see, once you click on this, and I will leave a link to this um, off of Wish, once you click on there to buy, it is gonna bring up this selection list. So you can see there are all these different lengths, 11 centimeters, which is 216 holes, all the way up to 800 holes, which is this length. This is the 800 hole or 31 centimeter uh, ruler. Now, this one, you'll notice there are two different millimeters. There is a 140 millimeter, and there is also a set for 141 millimeter. So, that is what you have to be aware of. I had no idea which one was going to fit my round uh, diamond paintings so I opted to get one of each so I did get the longest ones just to see if I was going to like them um, the shorter ones will definitely come in handy too if I find that I like these and I'm going to be using one of the you know millimeters over the other I may opt to get one of the shorter ones too. I think these off of Wish are made much nicer than what came off of AliExpress. This one just, I don't know. It's basically the exact same thing, just cut down, if you can see. I mean, it, they're identical. So I guess you can order them off of either. This is the only one that I've gotten off of AliExpress. I'm sure there are a ton out there now. But again, I will link to the one that I bought um, and I will link to this. Just be aware that there are the two different um, size holes in here. I don't think it's so much the holes. I think it is the spacing in between the holes that are just a tad different. Or is it the holes? No. No, I think it is the spacing in between the holes. Not sure, to tell you the truth. It looks like the holes themselves are pretty much the same, but it's really hard to tell when it is just one millimeter difference, so. But the other tool that I got is this thing. Now what the heck is that? It looks like a spatula, right? Um, what this is, is it is a straightener. So when you're going along and you want to straighten out, I'm not used to having my camera way over here. When you want to straighten out, you know, as you're doing a row, let's say you did this row and you kind of want to straighten out your drills, that's what this is for. And so this could be used for round and for square. Um, probably especially if you're using this ruler for your rounds you're not going to need this so much i'm going to try it out on the square um the mini mouse that i'm doing in the other room but we will go ahead and try this out on the round that i'm going to get out and we're going to see which one of these three rulers fits the best on that particular um diamond painting i also um printed this on this paper too because you can I'm, I will link this to AliExpress where I got it for five dollars um, I am going to link this too however this is a 62 piece set accessory set and you do get the um, straightener now just the straightener on Amazon I believe was $7.99 so for three bucks more you get this whole kit 
and it includes um, a storage container, your roller, four different drill um, trays, some diamond painting uh, drill pens with the cushions on and some straighteners and different uh, multi-placers, two tweezers, some wax. I mean, you get a ton of stuff in this kit for $10.99. So I thought that was a great deal. So I will link that also. All right, so I am going to pause for just a moment and I am going to get out the round diamond painting that we have been working on and I will be right back. Okay, I got my diamond painting out. This is the round drill one of the colorful dandelions that we have been working on a little bit. Um, let's see if this i'm going to push the light pad over just a tad and up so that we can see over on the edge here let's see how these little one this little one lines up and let me zoom you in so you can kind of see it up close and personal like i am oh, let's come down this way okay now because I already have drills on here, maybe just for experimentation here, I'm going to take off this one and we're going to go down to this section just to see how this lines up. So let's go down to this section where there are no drills yet. So we will line this up as closely as we can and I can see that this one is not going to fit this particular diamond painting interesting it starts out fine over here but then it starts getting off so that is the reason behind having two of these and I can see where these long ones may come in handy for large diamond paintings but I can see where the small ones are going to definitely come in handy too so I'm not sure if they indicate on each of these what size is what what the mesh is let's take a look at them 142 no they don't say anything about which one is the, what were they, 180 and 181? No, 140 and 141. So I don't know which one is which. Well, let's try this one. Okay, so let's line up our circles. And now this one is not matching. So let's try the other one. And it starts out good, but then, yeah, as you go along, and I am having a problem with this too. I must be doing, well, no, this one fits good. I was kind of looking at it wrong. So this one is fitting good. Um, this one will work with this particular diamond painting and all you will do is um, because this is such a big one I really can't do it up here otherwise I would get my drills out and we would work on it a little bit with this particular um, diamond painting maybe I will go get my drills and we'll do a few of these L's that are within this ruler and we can see how it works one moment okay now I zoomed you in a little bit more. I got a few of my L's, which are 3865s out and got some in my tray here. So let's see how these position, let's see, get down in the ruler here. And if this is gonna make life easier. <laughs> it's not gonna make life easier, we don't want to do it. I can definitely see, hmm, interesting. I can see where it is definitely going to enable you to place your drills on here straight. That's pretty neat. 
Hmm. And if I feel like this is really going to help me, I think I am going to go back and I am going to get the shortest ones in each of the millimeter. Because again, you don't know which millimeter evidently not all okay now that went right off the edge of the ruler so that one did not place down right you got to stay within the ruler evidently okay come back off this ruler is not making it easy there we go so yeah you got to stay within the grid My fingers in the way here. Sometimes you never know if you guys can see or not. So it does make it very easy to position your drills. It takes a little bit to set the ruler up, you know, and get that all lined up. But boy, once you got the ruler on there, holy cow, you can go lickety split. Look at this. You don't have to be quite so careful because the ruler does it for you. Oh my gosh, I like this. Wow. Pretty nice. I am going to have to try this some more. And uh, when we do our next diamond painting and drill, diamond painting and drill, a diamond painting in chat I am going to possibly use this um, now of course if you're in sections that don't have you know much open space it doesn't make sense number one to get out this ruler and bother lining it up number two you won't have the canvas to stick it to because all the drills will be in the way so, this, I think, I would use number one, I guess, for if you have a big background of all similar, you know, all this, all the one color. Um, this would really come in handy. And we do get that on our diamond paintings, don't we? I think I'm just going to finish a few of these L's off. And then we will take the ruler off and see if the diamonds stay, the drills stay. Now again, here too, a smaller one might be better because as you take this ruler off, you don't have as many to worry about um, stay, sticking to the canvas. All right, that's about all the drills I have. So let's take this off and let's see if the drills stay. And only one popped, otherwise they are all there and they are in perfect position. Love it, love it, love it. I am glad that I tried this. Sure wish I could find my other tweezers that has the bent end to it that works so much better let's see if I can see where that one came off I'm not sure I think it was over here somewhere I guess it's not maybe right there not that big of a deal I have more that I have to place right there anyhow but let's put it right there so I would say, let's zoom back out. I think that these rulers work really, really nice. Like I said, if you have a huge area with a big background and you have a lot of the same color, this thing would work wonderful. For smaller diamond paintings like this, this one is only, what was it, a 30 by 40? Um, I think something more this size would work much, much better. As you can see, 
this is going to be harder to place. You're going to have to have more open areas. I mean, this whole section does not have to stick down, you know, like I did. You know, this was not sticking. Um, but I can see where this small one it would come in handy, um, you know, for certain places too. So again, I think I'm going to, um, at some point in the future, um, go back and order the two short ones because I don't know which millimeter this one happens to be. Um, I'll go on my sticky here. As I showed you, there are the 140 millimeter and the 141. So I'm going to get the short one, the 11 centimeter, which has 216 holes. I don't know, which I'm assuming is, is probably this this guy but now I don't know if this one is the 140 or if it's the 141 and they are four bucks a piece <coughs> excuse me so I guess I'm gonna end up getting one of each um and then I may um just uh keep these off these <coughs> sorry these from wish came in this foam um, packaging so they did not get bent up at all I, I loved how they shipped these versus the one from AliExpress <coughs> came in this it was not protected much at all even the second one that I got when they replaced it yeah I'm surprised this one was not bent up too so I definitely would recommend Wish over AliExpress for for these you get them in really good condition um, and again I will leave links to everything down below I hoped you liked this oh wait a minute before we go let's check out our handy dandy I guess I don't really have too much I can check it on do I again I think you know, unless you have a whole row, you know, across like over here, you know, then you can go ahead and try and straighten. Oh, and I can see where this would come in handy. I think I may use this more on my square drills though. My square drill diamond painting. So when I work on that Minnie Mouse in the other room, which is my square, um, I'm going to try this thing out. Um, I think it's going to come in kind of handy for the squares, probably more so than the rounds, especially if you end up using the ruler as much as you can on the rounds. Now, you're not going to be able to use it constantly unless you are one that are, is going to do just this section and do all the colors in that section. Then, yeah, then a large ruler is going to work out much better for you because you can lay it across this this particular one because it's so large almost covers the whole width of this diamond painting so you could do all the colors in this section i like to work in bigger sections than that because i don't like having to put away and take out all these different colors uh what some people do however is they have you know because most of us have a gazillion of these trays especially the green ones they are able to, because they must not have pets or kids, um, when they work on a table, they will have like 10 different trays out and they will have a little indicator somehow, whether it's a little piece of paper or they um, have a sticker on that they can remove, they'll indicate what color is what tray and they keep a whole bunch of different colors out all at the same time. So yeah, they can go along, they can switch colors up really easily. I don't have that option. I have cats, I have a dog, I have grandkids um, that I watch, which of course I can't diamond paint when I'm babysitting anyhow, but um, that would not definitely not be an option for me. Uh, number one, yes, the pets. Number two, I don't work on a flat desk um, where I can lay things out. I work on my drafting table that is up at an angle. So yeah, that definitely is not an option for me but it is an idea so thought we would just pop in and show you a couple of these diamond painting tools and you may have seen these already on other channels um they both have been out for a while 
um, but I just received mine a little while ago. Um, so I thought we would check them out. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think that you would purchase any of these tools and try them out if you do diamond painting? I definitely am going to try this one, like I said, on my square diamond painting out in the living room. And I hope, fingers crossed, that I get to work on that baby today. I'm never going to get it done in time for her birthday. Um, and then I'm definitely going to work with this on this round diamond painting. Um, I am ordering more and more rounds. Well, I'm not ordering any more, but I have enough rounds now to do um, that I can see these coming in handy. Don't know where the other one went. Oh, here it is. And again, each time you will line up which one, you know, is going to work for that particular diamond painting. I wish I could figure out, you know, which one is the 140, which one is the 141, and you could instantly tell on the canvas which one you need. But unfortunately, that's not the case, and for each diamond painting, you'll have to line it up and, you know, determine which one's going to fit, and then maybe mark it somehow so that you know that one works. You know, maybe put on the edge, um, color, you know, put dandelion or, you know, some indicator of the diamond painting that that one works with that is a work in progress diamond painting. Um, and maybe you have a couple of them out and just, you know, this one works on this one and this one works on this one. Put a little label on there that you can take back off. It's probably what I am going to do. I'm going to mark which one works. I know this little one doesn't, unfortunately, because that could really come in handy on this one. But I'm going to mark which one of these two, because I don't remember now, um, works on here. And again, I wish it was indicated on here somehow. I'm probably going to write on here. Um, just take a guess of which one's 140 and which one's 140. 41 is that I can never remember the millimeter yeah 140 and 141 so I am probably going to just mark them and when I come back to this I'm going to determine okay is it the 140 or the 141 maybe I'll just write up at the top of the canvas or something I'll put 140 or you know and then I'll know which ruler to so all right that's that for today then um, I hope you kind of found this interesting. Again, let me know in the comments if you think that you would, you know, want to use any of these tools to help you. Um, I would be interested to know. Again, this is only for, you know, you diamond painters out there, but I know that the numbers are growing and uh, there are getting to be more and more of you colorists getting into the diamond painting, so that's great. So if you enjoyed watching all this, hit that like button. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I hope everybody's having a great weekend and as always, happy coloring. Happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.